The horseshoe crab, a marine arthropod that belongs to the Limolidae family, has been around for nearly 450 million years. They first emerged during the Paleozoic era, the era after which most of the earliest animals appeared. Though the horseshoe crab's exterior appearance hasn't changed much, natural selection has continually refined the horseshoe crab into its modern form through small evolutionary adaptions. In this video, we look at the past and present of the horseshoe crab and make predictions about its future. Because of the horseshoe crab's long history, their exact ancestors are unknown. Research has, however, indicated that the horseshoe crabs possibly evolved from sea scorpions, also known as Eurypterids or trilobites. Fossil records demonstrate that these organisms closely resemble the horseshoe crab, with traits such as a hard exoskeleton. They also lived in similar environments on the beds of large bodies of water and hunted similar prey. From this phylogenetic tree, we can see that all three organisms are closely related and may have evolved from each other as well. Furthermore, DNA analysis also finds that horseshoe crabs and trilobites share a large amount of DNA, making it more than likely that they are distant relatives of each other. However, natural selection has allowed horseshoe crabs to exist until today, while the other two have gone extinct. Today, the four known species of the horseshoe crab are commonly found around shallow coastal waters on soft, sandy, or muddy bottoms in the Pacific and Indian Oceans, near the coasts of India, China, Japan, South Korea, the United States, and Mexico. Their body is very easy to recognize as they feature a horseshoe shaped shell, 12 legs, a hump like yet broad structure, 10 eyes, and a brownish color. Despite its name and general shape, horseshoe crabs are actually less related to crabs and lobsters and are more similar to the arachnid family, which consists of spiders, scorpions, and ticks. In their environments, they prey on small animals such as clams, small snails, and crustaceans. However, they also act as prey for other animals such as sharks, alligators, and sea turtles. An important fitness promoting characteristic of the horseshoe crab is its blue blood. Their blood contains a copper containing molecule called hemocyanin that transports oxygen throughout the body. Hemocyanin is similar in function to the iron containing hemoglobin found in the blood of other organisms, but it uses copper instead of iron to bind with oxygen. Copper and hemocyanin gives it a blue color when it is oxygenated, which is why horseshoe crab blood appears blue. Horseshoe crab blood also has a unique ability to clot in the presence of bacterial endotoxins, which are produced by a certain kind of bacteria. This clotting response helps to isolate and contain the bacterial infection, preventing it from spreading throughout the horseshoe crab's body and potentially causing harm. Another important characteristic of the horseshoe crab is its flap-shaped gills. Horseshoe crabs breathe through specialized respiratory organs called book gills, which are located on the undersides of their abdomen. The gills extract oxygen from water and remove carbon dioxide, while also helping to regulate salt and water balance in their bodies. Horseshoe crabs can adapt their gill function to different environments, such as brackish water or areas with low oxygen levels, and are optimized for extracting oxygen from their aquatic environment. Without this adaptation, horseshoe crabs would not be able to survive in their marine habitat. Finally, horseshoe crabs possess 10 eyes that are divided into two types, compound and simple. Their compound eyes, located on the sides of their body, are made up of hundreds of small lenses, each with its own photoreceptor cell. This arrangement allows horseshoe crabs to perceive a wide range of visual information, including movement, changes in light levels, and even polarized light. This ability helps them to navigate and orient themselves in the environment, even in murky or low light conditions. In addition to their polarized vision, horseshoe crabs are also able to detect ultraviolet light, which is invisible to the human eye. The sensitivity is particularly useful for horseshoe crabs that live in shallow waters, where ultraviolet light is more prevalent. By detecting ultraviolet light, horseshoe crabs can better locate food and avoid predators, giving them an advantage over possible attackers who may not have as good of a vision as them. Now, I'm sure that everyone here is aware of global warming and the general effects it has on our environment. But how might global warming disrupt the horseshoe crab specifically, and what does the future look like for this animal? Well, the horseshoe crab's reproductive cycle is closely tied to the tides, with mating and egg-laying occurring only during high tides. Disruptions to this cycle due to climate change, such as changes in timing or intensity of tides, can have significant impacts on horseshoe crab populations. If the timing of high tides shifts, horseshoe crabs may miss their opportunity to mate and lay eggs, which could lead to a decline in population numbers. This can be especially problematic for horseshoe crabs as they have a slow reproductive rate and can take up to a decade to reach sexual maturity. Even a small disruption to their reproductive cycle can have a long-lasting impact on their population. In addition, changes to coastal habitats due to sea level rise or human activities can further impact the horseshoe crab's reproductive success. Horseshoe crabs often lay their eggs in sandy beaches, which can be impacted by erosion or development. If these habitats are lost or degraded, horseshoe crabs may have less suitable locations to lay their eggs, further reducing their population numbers and most likely causing them to move more inland when laying eggs, which increases the risk of predation. The horseshoe crab is also widely harvested by humans for their valuable blue blood to use in the biomedical industry, with demands causing the prices to skyrocket to nearly $15,000 a quart. 
This gives fishermen wanting to earn a fortune the incentive to overfish horseshoe crabs, and population numbers will quickly decrease, as seen with other animals when they are overhunted. This would be especially apparent in the horseshoe crab due to their lengthy reproductive cycle, which would cause numbers to drop as they are being hunted at a faster rate than they can reproduce. Today, one out of the four species of horseshoe crabs is already considered endangered because of human overfishing and their inability to reproduce fast enough. If humans do not slow down with the rate of hunting, it is more than likely that more species of the horseshoe crab will begin to be classified as endangered as well, and finally go extinct, all within the next couple of decades. Horseshoe crabs, known as living fossils, have unique features and have undergone changes over time to become what they are today. This video covered their survival strategies and predicted potential impacts from environmental changes and human activity. I hope you learned something and enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.